attacked in the past few days. Yes, celebrities swearing. Yesterday, Wayne Rooney was reprimanded for uh, telling a referee in a friendly match in South Africa to beep off. This follows EastEnders star Babs Windsor using the F word at the BAFTA's press conference. So, do we think it's all the more shocking if an older woman mm. swears compared to a, a, a young man, particularly a young, young sportsman? I, do, I think it's totally unacceptable for a sportsman to swear at a ref. Definitely. I think um, I just, it's just bad sport. Mm. Um, I think Babs probably just made a joke, you know. I mean, she's got a fantastic sense of humour, and I'm, and I'm sure that she just kind of did it in a jokey way. And it doesn't... It actually, older women swearing, it, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I've heard... I've seen, you know... Uh, well, I grew up with it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> my mum and my nan, um, you know, were for a family of swearers. I mean, we're a Cockney family, and that's kind of how we communicated, and no-one ever took offence. In fact, I remember... There was one time we had a family do, and Paul was driving me, Mum and Nan back from the do, and Nan and Mum had had a bit of wine, and um, my Mum had aggravated my Nan, my Nan was telling her off, and then my Mum had to go at her, and Paul's in the front thinking, what kind of family is this, I'm sure. And then my Nan got so irate, and it was like, oh, foul! And she went, the worst swear word you can think of, she called my Mum. <laughs> And Paul's in the front of the car like this, looking ahead of him, thinking, this is the third generation next to me. <laughs> <laughs> if ever there was a chance to get out, now is it. And don't you think she like it matters, though? Tate? She's, she's like... very much like yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Catherine Tate. But don't you think it matters? The, the context, really. I think it's... It, I, I am in no position to talk about this, because I use... Uh, words that aren't right, really, sometimes, but often in jokes. Yeah. Um, and I go on and on at my husband, dear old Mr Spain, about swearing, because he doesn't check out the room before he decides to swear. So some people are offended, and I think I have respect for that. And if people don't like bad language, I completely understand it. Equally, sometimes, if it's used in the right context, it's absolutely perfect. And there are jokes that if you didn't say the words they mm. wouldn't be right so Your jokes especially yeah. well <laughs> because they are they are they are near the mark and actually yeah. the reason that you get away with it is because you're really posh <laughs> and when you tell a joke <laughs> well you are and when she tells these filthy jokes oh, honestly she comes out with the you know bad word people can't believe it and that, honestly they think it's it, it make makes it the joke funny. so yeah. much it's funnier true. yeah i mean i can't i can't lecture anybody on swearing because i'm quite bad especially if i've got like you know airport rage or you know coming through and there's a big queue like there was you know the other night last night in fact um and i'm terrible at swearing and when i've had a few wines i do tend to swear as well but what what i don't like about it and i i don't really care who else does it i, I can't judge anyone i can't tell them off but i there are certain things that I can't watch, like certain chefs on TV that I can't watch anymore because mm. it's just too much. Mm. Yes, and it, it kind of takes away the effect of it because, you know, everybody who, who's, who's ever sworn in their whole life, you know that sometimes, sometimes it's the only word that will do. Only sometimes, not all the no. time. And don't but you think also that if you, if you allow it endlessly and, and for young people to endlessly replace the use of language with a swear word, there's nowhere else to go. But it's a it, lazy it, vocabulary, it, isn't it? It is lazy. And, it, and actually, if you go back to when swearing started, it was a real term of abuse. If you think it was always referring to somebody's birth, you know, whether they were illegitimate or not, mm. it was calling somebody's mother something. Yeah. It's an insult, and it was aggressive. And I think for a lot of young people, it's not just the swearing. It goes with aggression, mm. and it goes with that complete lack of respect. Take the taboo away as well. The fascination goes with, with yeah. young people as well. If you, if, you, if you make it not such a massive thing, they tend not to want to use the word so much. Mm. So... Um, yeah, I, I never swore in front of my mum until I was about 46. And even then, I went like that. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, we knew it was wrong to swear, but you hear kids on the bus and running around the streets today, they don't, they don't use any other language. Well, I grew it's up with shocking. it, and I didn't swear in front of my mum until I was... No. Well, I, even now, if I'm telling a story and there's a rude word in it, I say, I'm going to use a rude word, mum. You warn them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>